What's up guys, the Elvengo here with another part of Undertale and yet again, it's been a while, but I'm ready for it and I have been sick for the last couple of days, so I'm sorry if I uh, stop talking because I need to cough or anything like that. I have a really sore throat, so I'm really sorry and let's just, let's go. Wait, I wanted to check on Sons. That's what I wanted to do. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah, sure. Great. Thanks for treating me. Uh, not exactly what I wanted to do, but okay. Over here. I know a shortcut. Of course you do. Just like the last time. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, but oh. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here you've already got food, drink, friends. It's what you have to do. Really worth it? Good question. Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So, I'm a sentry in Snowy Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say knock-knock. And suddenly, from, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Toriel. It's gotta be Toriel. Who's there? So, naturally, I respond, Dishes. Dishes who? This is a very bad joke. It is a really bad joke. And she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep on coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. And then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yell. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Paris gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. And then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. Are you in love? One day, no. I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? No, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But someone who sincerely likes bad jokes. As an integrity, you can't say no to. Makes sense. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything. Buddy. You'd be dead by now. Oh, God. He is so creepy. You'd be dead where you stand. Gee, thanks, Papyrus. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. I have died? A couple of times? Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not funny. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid, because someone really cares about you. Yeah, it's Toriel. But other than that, nothing really changed uh, in this conversation with Sans. So that. Oh, you're. you're blah blah. You love to reserve a table to eat her. Well, you also need to reserve your charm, your silverware, your food, your. basically everything. I get it. 
Anyway, so that was Sons again. So what else was there to do? Nothing really. Right? So let's just continue. Let's go fight Metaton. Huh? Who are they? N nobody else supposed to be here. Oh well, <laughs> we can't worry about that now. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm kind of worried. Ready? <laughs> this is it. Take the elevator up to the top of the core. The, ele the elevator isn't working. What? The elevator should be working. Oh, well then, go to the right and keep heading up. Alright, <laughs> now just keep heading up. That pet isn't on my map. <laughs> Forget it, let's try the left side. <laughs> Okay, we should be able to make it through here. W watch out! Um, I was supposed to clear my mind, right? You ignore magic and think of pollen and sunshine. Your defense increased by one. Please and thank you. That's not it. Maybe I needed to stare? I don't know. Corner or... Oh. Oh, hold on, buddy. Not so fast. Ah, that's it. That was close. <laughs> well, why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, r right? We've just got to keep heading forward. Yeah, right. Looks like you can't proceed until you hit the switch. But those lasers will activate when you do. Um, looks like they'll come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. Got it, move until the third one. Yeah. Oops. You're doing great, Elf Eyes. Such a great help. Oh my god. O are you heard? I I'm so sorry, I, I gave you the wrong order. Everything's going to be fine, okay? Well let's just keep heading to the right. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, crossroads. Um. Uh. Tr try heading to the right. Let's go up. Oh. So maybe it got give us the right thing. Let's see. You sing an old lullaby. Night, night starts to look sleepy. I do. Uh oh. Goodbye. And right. Yep. Uh, um. Um. Thing. Let's eat a hot dog. Doing great. Night night falls asleep. That's what I was supposed to do. Uh, are you okay? Why didn't you head to the right? C come on, you you trust me, don't you? Sure I do. Sure. Nah, I'm kidding. I do trust Elphi. 
M more lasers. Okay, I I won't mess around this time. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. They're they're not turning them off. I I can't turn them off. I, I it's okay. I have this under control. I'm going to turn off the power for that whole mode. Then you can walk across. Okay, go. Whoa, wait, stop! The, the power. It's turning itself back on. D damn it. This isn't supposed to. I. I'm gonna turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little and then stop. Okay? You won't get hurt. Uh, oh, wait. wait. I'm yeah, I'm okay. I, I couldn't keep the power up long enough. No, no, we've got this. It's just a little further. He did. S see? I've got everything under control. Everything's under control. Uh, you okay there, Alphys? Okay, you shoot. You shoot. I don't know. This doesn't look like my map at all. I'm sorry. I... I... I have to go. Well... That sucks. But well... We're gonna make it. We'll be fine. Wait. There was something I had to do here, right? Yeah. A puzzle. No, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Yay. Congratulations. Well, thank you. I got the Glamburger. Always nice. to do with final progress progress. Mystify? Oh god. Go, 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 go away. Leave me alone. Oh god, I'm messing up so bad. So bad. <laughs> Let's eat a hot dog. So good. Let's just keep singing that lullaby. Almost there. There we go. Nailed it. Oh, God, come on. We're almost there. What a nightmare. You can say that again. Oh god. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this... This was stupid. Yep. Stupid indeed. 
as you can see, I haven't played in a while, and I'm not doing that great. Oh, oh wow, that's nice. Apparently that's a checkpoint. But there's one more thing I don't get, because in my memory, I didn't have to fight all those monsters, so... Was there another puzzle that I'm missing right now? Or... Or what? I don't know. Metaton, nice to see you again. Seems like you could skip Metaton's monologue by turning him around now. What will you do? Let's skip it. You told Metaton there was something cool behind him. Really? Where? Hehe, <laughs> fooled ya. Clever. Very clever. <laughs> I can't really do the voices right now because my throat hurts, so I'm sorry. <laughs> well, oh, I did brought a keyboard. Aren't I doing great? Oops, no, I'm not doing great at all. <laughs> this one was where I had to boast. Let's just pose. Oh. 
Aren't I doing great? Well then, I guess that was the last hot dog I had. or something instant noodle. Oh, please tell me you're not gonna crash again. Yeah, three minutes left. <laughs> oh god. If you're going to end my game again, then... Ooh. Okay. Thank God. Wait, what? For... Not doing great. Yeah, the ratings. Yeah, this is the most views I've ever had. We've reached the viewer call in milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this? Our last show. Oh, hi, Metaton. I really like watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on this screen brought excitement to my life voraciously. I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh, no, wait, wait, bl they, they already hang up. I'll take another color. Marathon, your show made us so happy. Marathon, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Oh, Marathon, there's a Marathon shaped hole in my Marathon shaped heart. Uh, I. I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. If I left, the underground would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. <laughs> it's all for the best anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments I'll run out of battery power and, well, I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. <sighs> oh, poor Metaton. I won't leave you. I I managed to open the lock. Are you too? Oh my god. 
Metaton! Metaton, are you... Thank God, it's just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I would have... I would have... I, I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know. He's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could always just build another. <laughs> Why don't you go on ahead? I, I just need a moment. I, I know you do. I don't want to move ahead. I want to get back. Oh, yeah, right. S sorry about that. <laughs> Let's keep going. Uh, yeah. She. So, so are you? You're about to meet Oscar, huh? You must be. You must be pretty excited about all that, huh? <laughs> you'll finally. You'll finally get to go home. But I don't want to go home. <laughs> what? Wait. I mean, um, I, I was just going to, um, say goodbye, and I can't take this anymore. I, I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. Oh. If you want to go home, you have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I can't kill Asgore, you silly goof. I'm sorry. Let's go back and check on Dr. Alphys. Because that's something I didn't do uh, in the first playthrough. And I'm actually pretty curious. I just need to find my way back. <laughs> oh god, what was her voice again? Hey, uh, this is Undyne. <laughs> Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. You, man, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. Okay, so that is new. That is definitely new. It's just... How do I get there? Pretty quickly. Is it just this way? Maybe this way? Yeah, I guess. Uh, who are you? Uh, okay. Good for you. Hey there, Muffet. There you are, dearie. You are always welcome in my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior. <laughs> cool. Thanks. I will. I just need to get back first. I'm not sure if this is the right way. I don't think it is. Because this is the way I came from, there must be a shortcut somewhere. Probably where I just was. <laughs> let's check it out. Let's see, let's see. If that's where we're supposed to be go. I don't know. This way, maybe? No. This is not it as well. Because this was where I fell down. Shoot.
No, I'm not lost. I'm just really bad with directions in this game. <laughs> just in this game. Sound too good. Oh, I probably should have t chosen the left one, of course. That's what I should have done. Let's go back. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, for all this walking, but I just get lost pretty quickly in this game. I don't know why. Should have known it by now. Are we there yet? Yes, we are. Because if we go down here, we can take that boat to Snowden. Yes. Yes, Snowden. Let's go see what Undyne wants of us, from us, you know. Let's check it out. Uh, the water is always wet. Water is wet. Ah, never mind. Come again sometime. Yeah, I will. Hey there, Undyne. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I I need you to deliver this. I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, <laughs> it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. <laughs> so here you go. You got the Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much, you're the best. Okay. Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you. Because you have no standards. How nice of you. So nice of you, Papyrus. I don't have standards. Gee. Let's go back to Hotland and deliver the letter. I guess Undyne and Dr. Elvis may secretly be in love with each other. How cute. Humans, monsters, flowers. Flowers? You're referring to flowy? I guess you are. Come again sometime. Sure. <laughs> oh, oh, no, is that not a letter? I don't want to open it. C can't I just slide it back out? N no. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's just kind of struggling. <laughs> Isn't it? Wait a second. Hi. If this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you um wrote that way. Uh, tiny misunderstanding here, Dr. Alphys. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um this <laughs> and so passionately too oh god what did she write in that letter you know what 
Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah, let's go on a date. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. <laughs> Damn it, Dr. Alphys. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Oh... Hey, w wait! Actually, we still can't start the date yet. <coughs> Why not? Oh, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful successful outcome to the date. Oh god! Right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First. I've got some metal armor polish. I don't wear metal armor. Are you sure you weren't collecting gifts for Undyne who actually wrote this letter? You should probably go date her instead. Um, maybe you can't use that. Good call. But I also brought some waterproof cream for your skills. Uh, your, uh, skill. Uh, well, uh, how about... This magical spare repair kit that I... Girl... Go see Undyne. Hey, let's forget about the items. <laughs> let's just start a date. Yeah, let's, uh, date. No. No. You should... You, sh you, you, you shouldn't date me. You're clearly in love with Undyne. Uh, do you like anime? Oh, I do. I, I actually do. H hi, <laughs> me too. This is so awkward. This is this date is way more awkward than the one with Papyrus. Even though he stood me up. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the. G to the garbage dump. You want to go to the garbage dump on a date? Oh. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I c can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well, oh no, here she comes. <clears throat> hey, there you are. I, uh, realized you'll deliver that thing. <laughs> it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Yeah. Have you at least seen her? Oh god. Yeah? Yeah? So she's somewhere around here? Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. W well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just figured out. I just figured, y you know, <laughs> it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to 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 make me feel better well it sounds even worse when i put like yeah it does it does elfies go 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 see undying go go away just just go i'm sorry i messed up again undying's the person i um really want to go on a date with well good because the letter was from her not me but, I mean, she's way out of my league. N not that you aren't, um, cool. But, Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but 
All I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. Well, you should tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? No. Or a truth where neither of us are. I know it's hard to tell someone the truth, but it's always better than to keep lying to yourself and that other person because someday you don't even know what's reality anymore because you've been lying for so long and you don't even know what's a lie and what's real and no, it's always better to tell the truth. Go tell her the truth. They say be yourself. Yep, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. I get it. I actually get it because I've had that for quite a long time, but it's not good. So I'm trying to be myself way more often than I did when I was younger. And you should do too, on the, uh, Elphys. You should go up to Undyne, tell her the truth, and just be yourself. I think she will like you anyway. <laughs> No, you're right. See? Told you. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They will all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Obviously, that's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Oh god, and then and I walks in on us role playing. Well, I'll be on time. You need to practice. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Ahem. <coughs> Ahem. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? <laughs> You're cute. Th thanks. <laughs> you, you say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. But I know you just mean it platonically, because we're just friends. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to um, talk to you about something. <laughs> then she kisses you. What? <laughs> and I would never... I kiss her back. S softly. <laughs> How do you do you now, help <laughs> I... I look gently into her eyes. <laughs> I start hollering. <laughs> I'm dying. That's actually kind of freaky when you do that. Elf eyes, calm down. Just calm down. What? What did you just say? Uh, uh I'm dying. I was just. Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit is really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Ah, uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we we were, but I mean, actually, we were only romantically role playing as you. What? What? I I mean, I mean, I'm dying. I I I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like scientifically important. I just, I just used the Scrimendo human history books. Oh, the talking comic books and history movies. Those, those are just uh, anime. They aren't real. And the time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in the. Oh God, elf eyes. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just want you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Elf eyes. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Elf eyes. Shh. 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 <laughs> Elf eyes? I think you're neat too, I guess. <laughs> But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. 
I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of the stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytic. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to me to anyone anymore. Elf eyes, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Good night, you. You're gonna train me? Oh, look at her blush. <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> oh, dear lord. Nah, I'm gonna get prepared to do it. Get those bones shaken! <laughs> it's time! <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start a timer. Undyne. Uh, und und I'll do my best. <laughs> oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. Those are still real, right? Animate real, right? Sure! Anime's real? Sure! <laughs> Whatever you want! <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords! Magical princesses, here I come! Ahem. <coughs> uh, thanks for taking care of Elf Eyes. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later! Just leave me here all by myself alone at the garbage dump. Sure. Anyway, this was an eventful episode with such a weird date. Don't ever want to go on a date like that again. And I bet you guys wouldn't as well. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, leave a like because it's always nice. And hopefully, I will see you in the next part of Undertale. Which will be up, hopefully, Friday. <laughs> I'll do my best, but there's so much going on in my life right now. There's just... I'm part of this new YouTube thing with uh, friends of mine. And it's really amazing. But it also did cost me a lot of time in the last few weeks. And I've been sick and I've been working hard and just so many things. And I'm really sorry for not uploading that much as I was supposed to do. But I hope you will forgive me and I hope you will continue watching and I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you again in the next part. So, bye!